With the Israel-Hamas war grinding on for nearly four months now, troops are close to accomplishing their missions in the region's second largest city of Han Yunus. This according to Israel's defense minister after citing major blows to Hamas's ranks. They have 10,000 eliminated terrorists and another 10,000 terrorists who are wounded and not functioning. IDF soldiers are expected to keep up the momentum and root out more terrorists as they move further south toward Gaza's border with Egypt. But even as the fighting shows no signs of slowing down, the Biden administration remains focused on promoting a two-state solution once the war finally ends. We are actively pursuing the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with real security guarantees for Israel because we do believe that is the best way to bring about lasting peace. Other major countries appear to be following suit. We believe in a two-state solution. Thursday, Britain's foreign secretary revealed the UK could recognize a Palestinian state once a ceasefire is called in Gaza. One top condition, all Hamas leaders must leave Gaza. You can't have a two-state solution with Gaza uh, still controlled by the people responsible for October the 7th. Meanwhile, efforts are ongoing to prevent the Israel-Hamas war from widening, especially as the U.S. is promising retaliation after three American service members were killed by an Iranian-backed drone attack in Jordan last weekend. President Biden will be at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware later today to honor those three soldiers. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.